Social media definitely has a way of making moving abroad seem like this grand, sparkling adventure. But here are some truths that no one feels comfortable talking about. So the other day, I was talking to my friend who is a fellow expat in Switzerland and we feel the same way and I wondered why this is not a topic that is widely discussed. I mean, I get it. It is all part of the human nature to only want to show the good things that happen in life and hide away those that are not so pretty. But I believe that all of these moments both the good and the bad are what makes up life. And the most difficult conversations are the necessary ones. Social media definitely has a way of making moving abroad seem like this grand sparkling adventure. But here are some silent truths that no one feels comfortable talking about. One of the biggest myths is that you'll instantly fall in love with your new city and settle in. When I made the decision to move away from home, it came at a huge cost. Leaving my family and everything I know behind to start a new life abroad. I thought that I would settle in within the first three months, but that wasn't the case at all. Even in a beautiful country like Switzerland, the first few months were emotionally exhausting. I had to redefine and build a life from scratch. I didn't know how to cook or even how to do household chores and the Swiss public transport was pretty confusing. I have already lost count of how many times I've actually broke down and cried because of how overwhelming everything is. It wasn't pretty but it was a start and it actually took me a whole year to finally feel at home. With the initial sense of freedom and fresh air you get from moving abroad, also comes the vast amount of guilt. You do this really great thing for yourself, yet you can't help but feel guilty for leaving behind all of the people you love at home. The struggles of filial piety for not being physically there for your parents as you watch them age. This is a bit of a sad truth about moving abroad. Life does not stand still when you are living abroad. Waiting for you to come home, life keeps moving forward. You feel guilty for missing out on important events such as birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, baby showers, Christmas and Chinese New Year. The worst of it all is not being able to say goodbye one last time to a close relative of mine when she passed away. The fact that they will no longer be there when you return home is a hard pill to swallow. And then you feel guilty for second guessing your life here because you should be grateful for the life that you have here. It is a privilege to be able to live in this wonderful new place that you have chosen for yourself. It will forever be a constant struggle. Balancing two identities at the same time, the one in a new place and the one you left behind when you sat on the plane. You'll be constantly reminded that you are not from here. No matter how much you try to integrate yourself into their culture, no matter how long you stay in this country, the truth is you will never become one of them. This is something that I struggled with a lot in the beginning because I look different from everyone around me. My French is still no way near perfect. I feel out of place and stupid for not knowing how to do simple things. I remembered feeling so overwhelmed by everything that I broke down on the public transport. It's super embarrassing, I know, but I promise you, you will not feel this way forever. One of the most common mistakes we make when we feel that we do not belong is trying so hard to fit in. If you feel that you don't belong, there's a very good chance that you don't. But this isn't necessarily a bad thing. Maybe you are not supposed to fit in. Maybe you are supposed to stand out. So if you don't fit in, that's perfectly okay. 
Real friendship will survive no matter the distance, but once you are no longer a physical presence in a person's life, it will take more effort to keep the friendship alive. I've lost friends just because I stopped contacting them first. Moving abroad means your life will change and so will the life of your friends back home. Life has a different path for every single one of us and if you choose the one less travelled, chances are some may not follow. But the good thing is, you will learn who are your real friends and the ones whom you can rely on even if you are thousands of kilometres away. Being able to slip from one life to another is a strange experience that I believe many expats will relate to. You start your new life on the other side of the globe, but fragments of your old one still lingers in your native country, tempting you to go back. Moving abroad has given me a new perspective on the word home. While Singapore will forever have a special place in my heart, I have come to love my life in Switzerland. I remember feeling guilty for calling Switzerland my home. But I realised that there is no reason for you to feel that way because home is where you feel happy and free. And that home is a place that can be anywhere in the world. But with all that's being said, hey, I wouldn't change any of it. Moving abroad, especially moving to the other side of the world is a life-changing experience and it can be incredibly rewarding. However, living abroad isn't for everyone. And it doesn't make us better people than those who chose to stay wonderfully close to their original homes, friends and family. Because there is simply no one right way to live your life. If you're considering moving abroad, just be reminded of the fragmented reality that social media portrays. There's a lot of stuff you don't see on the highlights reel. So, this is where I leave you. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!